Драги македонци и пријатели на македонскиот народ во Канада, добар ден. Јас сум Маја Доневска Ивановска, водител на програмата Час на македонски корени. Се ноѓаме во Енгас Глен Голф Клаб во Марка Монтарио, каде што во моментот се случува 80-тиот поред македонски отворен голф турнир, најстариот етнички голф турнир во Канада. Добре дојдовте. Се наоѓаме на 80-тиот поред македонски отворен голф турнир со Тина Аргиро. Тина, welcome to the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament. Сполај ти премногу бил и сполај му на Господ што си тука. Везне што си што го пуля тука цели бил да работа, цели што работе тука. Многу убао ми е, ама едно нешто се моля си и другата година со 300 маки дојду си тука. Ке дојдиш пак другата година. Да зборуваме малку за твојот сопруг, за твојот маж Енджело Аргиро. Неодамна почина умре Енджело и беше голем македонец, голем човек. Преголем беше за македонското душата си ја даваше. За, за ош не, само да беше македонско, тоа му беше цело нешто на него. И знаеш дури кога закопам вели да ме кладиш да има поќе македонци вели не да не ме кладиш ниде друже и тамо си ја кладу Бог да ми ја прости маш ми ви дам здравје на цели Господ да ве чуи да ве брани цели и тебе бил да да се видваме секоја година со здравје сполајти премногу сполајти премногу бил да ми си жив и здрав и ти да си жива и здрава ти беше од кој село од Статица Статица Костурско, но како, како што рече ти, Статица поблизо до Лерино, колку до Костур, нели? Вистина, вистина така е. Костур ни беше подалеку, Лерин беше поблизо. Ама, ајдно заш не се викаме Леринци, ба се викаме од Костур што сме. Сите сме македонци, тоа е најважно. Сега на крај, Тина, дали имаш еден поздрав за македонците во Канада? Имаме еден да ви рече на цели македонци, сполај на Господ, да ве чуи, да ве брани цели и со здравје, ама не, не заборавивате што сте македонци. Јас нико пат нема да заборава и нито маш ми не забарај. Господ да ви дай здравје на цели. Се наоѓаме на 80-тиот македонски отворен голф турнир. Разговараме со Златка Чокова, управниот директор на Канадско македонскиот дом. Златка, само два збора, 80 години. Да, точно. 80 години а, работи овој турнир, почна многу мал. А, прерасна во огромен турнир, денеска имаме регистрирано 305 голфери и околу 50 луѓе се на листа на чекање кои се надеваат дека ќе може да дојдат да играт, некои веќе дојдоа тука и чекаат некој да се ако се откажи. А турнирот работи многу успеш, успешно. Имаме огромен број на спонсери, а, околу 40 спонсери, значи сите се секоја година се враќаат, се многу дарежливи. А, имаме а, црквите сапорт значи од црквите а, жените од црквата свети димитрија во марка и управата а, секоја година а, овозможуваат да се прават питите за овој турнир а овде ка питите значи се а, апетајзер за, за вечерва и повеќето голфери а, чекаат и прашуваат дали ќе има пита и оваа година епа вредните жени а, дана маркова и тина Аргиро, Аргири, Аргиро и Хелен Лазаро и многу други 
се тука денеска и сите беа учесници помага да ги направија питите. За жал сега ќе речам оваа година ќе го ќе ни недостасува Анджело Аргиро која секоја година сигурно за 80 години учествуваше. Бог да го прости. Бог да го прости, да. А, имаме а, спонсори, а, сите се, се а, денот се, се погоди многу убав да биде сончев како и секоја година и се надевам дека кога ќе почнат да играт ќе имаат прекрасен ден, ќе има многу а, победници оваа година имаме а, Стив Гогас а, подари а, коли, ќе има на двата на Саути Норт, на двата двата корси ќе има кола да се, некој може да биде да си оди дома вечер со кола. Тоа за Holland One. За Holland One имаме, да, имаме кола, авто, автомобил. А, и Рафалот е многу а, богат, акшенот е богат, богат има значи многу а, донори на сите тие, да. Сега кажи нешто за оние кои се тука да помагаат. Има многу млади луѓе, млади лица гледаме и од постарата генерација заедно работат на овој најстариот етнички голф турнир во Канада. Прво, млади има многу кои партиципираат. Значи, оваа година турнирот се продаде во рок од 4 дена. Неверојатно. Неверојатно, да. А, многу брзо. Така да повеќето од учесниците, играчите се млади. Имаме овде ка а, меѓу големите спонзори, турни, а, спонзор на турнирот е а, Крис Тојчев од а, Сиракјус, а, Мобилен. А, друг а, голем а, спонзор е а, Крис Павловски, а, Рамбл. Значи, тие се... А, поголеми после имаме дијамантски uh, the better foundation златни сребрени бронзени карт uh, спонсор значи кар uh, спонсор uh, рафл спонсор имаме многу крис по палес е еден многу дарежлив секоја година имаме телевизор еден од големите uh, награди за рафл од луѓето што си купуваат тикети Дали имаш еден поздрав за македонците ширум Канада, зато што како што знаеш нашата програма се гледа и во Алберта и во Британска Колумбија секоја недела. Да. А, секако поздрав, прво само сакам да се заблагодарам на волонтерите, како што речете имаме многу млади а, луѓе кои се тука, кои помагаат секоја година да се заблагодарам на нив и да ги поздравам гледачите на оваа емисија и да ги поканам може би до година, а, турнирот е секогаш во јули исто време секоја година да дојдат и да бидат гости, да партиципираат или само да дојдат да се дружат со нас. Голема благодарност до Златка Чокова, управниот директор при Канадско Македонскиот дом. Благодарам. It's a great honor to speak with the president of Canadian Macedonian Place, Peter Simeon. Peter, 80 years is a long time, and actually it's the oldest ethnic golf tournament in Canada, the Macedonian Open. 100%. Um, you know, I can't actually believe that our ancestors came here over 100 years ago, and they've been golfing for 80 years. It's unbelievable. Such a great event for the community. Your heritage from your father and mother's side, what villages are, were they from? are they from? Yeah, so they're both Macedonian. My dad's from Svetopetka, my mom is from Negotrani. Very nice. So tell us about this year's tournament, and we're filming you in the morning. How has everything gone so far? Oh, it's been great. Um, we sold out literally hours after we, we announced it. Um, a lot of great people here, a lot of great sponsors. You know, the weather's phenomenal. Thank Gospel for that, right? Tell us about Canadian Macedonian place over the last year and in the future. What are you guys planning in the next year? I understand there's a very special event honoring Sue Nichowski. Yeah, so we obviously paid off our mortgage, you know, a couple of years ago. So we're just trying to think of the future of Canadian Macedonian place. We're honoring, you know, Sue um, at an event uh, in November 2nd. Uh, it's a huge gala. Hopefully everyone can make it. Um, and then we're trying to reimagine what we're going to do with the home. And so we're still 
considering a million different ideas, but we're starting to think about it. Um, with the mortgage paid off, we can raise more money and just try and help the community more, whether it's expanding it or who knows what, right? What do you think you're going to golf today? I'm not the best golfer. I'll break 100, but I'm not going to break 80, that's for sure. <laughs> do you have a message today for Macedonians across Canada as our program is now seen in Alberta and British Columbia as well, and on satellite throughout the whole country? Yeah, I just want to tell everyone to keep supporting their community. You know, we do a great job here um, in Toronto in the GTA. I know there's, there's you know, Nashi everywhere. Just keep supporting the community, support the churches, support the foundations. Um, keep your culture alive, keep your traditions alive. Are you proud of your Macedonian heritage? I'm very proud. You know, the first language I spoke was, was Macedonian, right? We didn't learn English until we were like four or five. Great. Thank you so much, Peter. No problem. Thank you. We're speaking with Stan Thomas. Stan, um, you've done a great job over the years. Three-time president of Canadian Macedonian Place. Um, one of you know one of the greatest supporters of the Toronto Raptors, as we show every week on our show with the Bidoff family, um, who uh, who brought the Raptors to Toronto. But today is a very special day for Canadian Macedonians um, at the longest ethnic, longest running ethnic golf tr tournament in Canada. The 80th anniversary, Stan, what are your initial impressions of this fantastic day? First of all, it's a wow that we've been here this long. And Bill, I want to thank you and your team too for all the support that you've given us over the years. You guys have been awesome. Uh, I can't be more happy. I can't be more happy than what happened today, what's going to happen today with the turnout that we've had. You know, over 300 golfers, uh, we have tremendous support from the whole community, all our sponsors, the golfers that come out, the whole sponsors, you name it, we've got people coming out from everywhere. It's a gathering, it's more than a golf tournament. I think it's a gathering of our community, it keeps us together, it keeps us strong, and we're gonna keep it going. Volunteers, we, we talked with Zlatka a little earlier and she talked about how many volunteers there are this year. It's great that you have that support. <laughs> They're awesome, young kids. You know, when I came in, it was, I was just, kind of remarking this Laka, we've got a lot of young people coming in, which is also good for the future, so we can build on this. So I'm just totally thrilled, totally amazed with this. On our show, the Macedonian Heritage Hour, we like to show all genres of music. We like to show Macedonian rock and roll. We like to show Macedonian hip hop. And that's one of the reasons we're doing that and you guys are attracting the young people to the golf tournament. So we, we all have to try to bring the Macedonian youth into our community even more. We need them together. We need them together. Got new sponsor, Mobile and Communications. Uh, Rumble's back as a dinner sponsor. And these guys are young entrepreneurs. And, you know, with them, I think we can really support the community and we can really get the community together. I'm just so excited. And it's a sunny day. And I think we have a, a traditional saying, Gospel de Macedonets. Would you agree? I agree wholeheartedly. I hope everyone drinks lots of water. It's going to be a hot one and a humid one. At the end of today's interview, Stan, do you have a message for our Macedonian community from Prince Edward Island to British Columbia? We love all of you. We'd love to see you. Come and join us next year. <laughs> Stan Thomas, who was honored recently with, with a great honor by Canadian Macedonian Place, we thank you so much and we hope to see you soon next year at the 81st Annual Macedonian Open. We look forward, Bill. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. We're speaking with George Marku, who was president of Canadian Macedonian Place for five years. George, it's great to see you at the 80th annual Macedonian Open Golf Tournament. 
Bill, a pleasure to see you as well, and uh, welcome here once again, and thank you for all your support throughout the years for being here and supporting uh, our Macedonian Open. As we've talked to, to a few people so far, um, it's the, the, the tournament was sold out in a very short time. Um, the interest for this tournament is amazing. Um, and we've talked about the youth, the Macedonian youth are here en masse. Um, to what do you attribute the success of the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament? I think there's a lot of uh, char uh, characteristics that we could uh, talk about. However, uh, overall, it's a, it's a great tournament to bring the entire community together. We as a committee work extremely hard to promote the, uh, the event. Uh, it, it, as you know, the, the uh, charity is uh, Canadian Macedonian Place. However, what's, uh, a lot, uh, what's important for us as well is uh, bringing the community together. Uh, right from the youth, and we try to promote the youth as much as we can, uh, right through to our, our fellow uh, Macedonians that come uh, each and every year. They're, you know, it's been 20 and 30 and 40 years people have been coming here, and it's one thing that they really look forward to, and uh, we're quite proud of. We're, you know, Canadian Macedonian Place is a, is a cornerstone for our diaspora, and the golf tournament is one big factor that we try to uh, support, promote, and bring the people together, uh, at least within Toronto. Your parents have both been involved in the Macedonian community for a long, long time, and I want to congratulate them on their efforts. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, it's uh, uh, growing up uh, at home, uh, Macedonian uh, culture, Macedonian language was uh, something that was very important. Uh, both my mother and my father uh, have been involved in, in numerous uh, activities within the uh, community, and uh, I guess the, it didn't... Uh, it wasn't very difficult for me uh, not to take part of that, and uh, I've, uh, I've grown up uh, that way myself. Do you have a message for our Macedonian community, but also to our friends watching today? Well, I hope uh, everybody can join us next year to, uh, on our 81st, and we, uh, uh, we're, we're looking forward to a great day. Uh, uh, please support Canadian Macedonian Place and our foundation, and uh, come out. If you don't golf, come out for dinner. And uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, old friends, I'm sure. And uh, uh, thank you, for uh, again, for all your support uh, to the audience out there and to yourself once again, Bill. Thank you so much, George. To abyše razgovoro so George Marku, poranešnji od predsedatel na Kanadsko makedonski dom. Mandat, imaše mandat za pet godini. Blagodaram i prijatno. Five years. That is how long Alex Mishov has been a member of the Canadian Macedonian Place Board of Directors and on the Macedonian Open Golf Committee. That is a great accomplishment, Alex, and uh, Chestito. Thank you so much. I'm very, very proud. This is my 35th year of helping run this extraordinary event, and uh, look at the success we're having with it. Amazing, amazing success. Canada's longest running ethnic golf tournament, 80 years this year, and it's just saying it is, is incredible. Um, tell us about this year's event, and tell us, tell us about the preparations for such a, a spectacular day. As you know, we start, as soon as this tournament is over, we start playing the following year. And so, uh, it's been terrific. We added some new members to the golf committee. Chris Stamkos is a first time member. Uh, Natalie Bitov is a first time member on the golf committee. So bringing in some new blood and uh, invigorating the golf committee that's all, already strong as could be. Canadian Macedonian Place uh, is a very special uh, home for seniors. Uh, your, your father lived there for many, many years and Bogda uh, Goprosti. Um, what was his experience at the home? He absolutely loved it at the home. And uh, originally, like a typical Macedonian, he was reluctant after my mom passed away to go there. But as soon as he was there, he absolutely loved it. And he kept saying to me, why didn't you talk me into this earlier, son? We're from the cello of Armensko. The famous hockey player, Steven Stamkos, 
his dad, Chris, and I grew up in the Mexico and came here as kids to Canada. And we're very honored to feature Steven on our show on a regular basis, uh, beginning at the NHL draft. Uh, we, we had a report on Steven and we're very proud of him. Uh, and from your mother's side, also from Armensko? Yes, absolutely. Why is being Macedonian important to you? You know, my, my dad and my brother uh, were so passionate about Macedonia. And my brother's 14 years older than me, so he was almost like another father. And the two of them instilled it in me, how important it was to be a proud Canadian Macedonian. And uh, I totally got absorbed into Canadian Macedonian place with Stan Thomas. And it's been a great passion of mine to continue that heritage. When do the preparations begin for the 81st? Tomorrow, as soon as this one's over. Amazing. Do you have a message for Canadian Macedonians and our many friends who watch the show at the end of today's interview? Well, I love the fact that a lot of you are coming down, even though you're not golfers, you're coming down earlier in the day by 11, 11.30. We've got coffee and donuts and muffins here for you. We have a beautiful lunch, a Macedonian sausage. And so a lot of you are coming down to enjoy this, and we encourage more of you to come out and do that. Тоа беше разговорот со Алекс Мишов. Алекс, благодарам, сполајте. Thank you so much, Bill. It's a great honor to speak with Chris Stamkos, the father of Steven Stamkos. Um, Chris, it's a great honor to speak with you. Now I remember. Um, a long time ago, in 2008, we spoke with you in Ottawa at the NHL draft when Steven was picked first overall. Um, does that bring back memories for you? Well, that's a long time ago. It's 16 years ago, but I do remember that, uh, and it was an enjoyable time for our family, for him to be honored to be picked first overall. And uh, time goes by fast, though. It's 16 years later now. You're now on the golf committee at the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament. Uh, tell us about how that's gone so far this year. Uh, Alex Michels asked me uh, to participate, and uh, I figured I would assist. Not that I did that much for the committee, because Stan Thomas and his group has done an excellent job over the years. So I just chipped in where I could, and uh, they do most of the work. So credit to them for all, these, uh, hard, all the hard work for, that they put through through the years. Now, Stephen now is a member of the Nashville Predators. Um, he was, uh, he was uh, well known as, as uh, the star of the Tampa Bay team. Um, tell us about his transition to, Tam to uh, Nashville. Well, it's still kind of early, so it's bittersweet. Uh, obviously, he spent 16 years in Tampa, so uh, I just told him to remember the great memories and look forward to some new ones. So uh, he's in the process now of uh, looking for a place to live in, t in uh, Nashville. And so it's going to take, you know, hopefully a couple of weeks and uh, hopefully he'll find a place to get settled in and get the schools, re get the kids registered for school. How old are his kids? Uh, he has three kids, uh, newborn, uh, five and three years old. That's great. What are their names? Uh, Carter's five, Chase is almost three. He'll be three in uh, November and Olivia is a newborn born May 6th. Your origins are from what village? We are from Armensko, which is near Florida. And uh, you're very proud of your Macedonian heritage. Have you instilled that in Stephen uh, as a youngster? Well, it was Stephen uh, because my wife is not Macedonian, but he, he, he uh, has quite a few friends that are Macedonian. He doesn't speak it, but he understands a few words here and there. So he understands the, uh, you know, the Macedonian culture and uh, he respects it as well. What I notice most with Stephen and yourself, you're very humble people, even though, you know, Stephen is, is a star in the National Hockey League. To what do you attribute, attribute that? Is it, is it, is it uh, the family? I think it's a combination of a lot of things. Obviously, uh, it, it stems from, you know, my wife and myself, where we're kind of low-key. And also, the coach in terms of when he played minor hockey in Markham. He was a pretty grounded individual by the name of Paul Titanic, who's actually married to a Macedonian, Linda. And uh, so he had some great, great mentors in, in coaching, and I think it just kind of evolved over time. And uh, I never put him above anybody else. And uh, that's the way I, 
I was kind of raised, so I think we just kind of, you know, feed that to him as well. Many fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs were hoping that he would sign with Toronto one day. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened, uh, but he's very loved in Toronto and Ontario and all across Canada. Yeah, the Toronto uh, situation may have happened like eight years ago, but, uh, you know, it just wasn't the right time. And everything, uh, everything happens for a reason and a timing at that particular time when he was going through free agency uh, just didn't work out for Toronto. But uh, he was happy in Tampa, he resigned, he won a couple of Stanley Cups, and uh, you couldn't ask for anything better. As a dedo, are you going to be visiting uh, Stephen's children and babysitting in Nashville? Uh, yes, we will. The, they're more important than Stephen at this particular time because as grandparents, you just cherish your grandchildren. So we we're very blessed to have you know, five grandchildren. My daughter, Sarah, has uh, two boys as well. So. Uh, as I said, uh, Olivia was just born on May 6th, so I, you know, I kind of told Stephen that the Queen Bee has arrived and uh, they're going to take, uh, take care of her as well, the little boys. We want to wish you the best in the upcoming year and uh, we hope to see here, you here next year. And please pass on greetings from, our Macedonian Herit from the Macedonian Heritage Hour and all the Macedonians across Canada and our friends. I will do that. I'll tell Stephen that you guys say hi, and uh, I'll make sure that he watches the program to, to look at his father getting interviewed for a change. <laughs>to speak with broadcast journalist Gord Stelic, um, who is here at the 80th annual Macedonian Open Golf Tournament, the longest ethnic golf, running ethnic golf tournament in Canada. Gord, from your perspective, you've, you've mingled, I'm sure, with a lot of communities and a, a lot of Canadians. That's quite a long time for a golf tournament. Oh, it is, it is. Uh, so my background was Czech and Scottish, right? And uh, Tom Bito married uh, my next door neighbor. So that's where I got to know. I'm an honorary Macedonian now with the group. And I really I, I admire, first of all, it's your heritage. So you're proud where you came from, but you're proud that you came to Canada. And also sports fans. Holy macro. Macedonian sports fans, uh, the, the most rabid, most loyal, uh, most excited, the whole thing. So I, I admire, I love this tournament. I love its longevity, something they should be really proud of, a, a really worthy cause as well, and I'm, I'm back for another year. I couldn't be happier. It's great to see you, and uh, we're very proud of you uh, on your great you know, achievements in the world of broadcast journalism in the field of sport. Um, what do you think of the recent uh, developments within the camp of the Toronto Maple Leafs? How, how would you rate their offseason? Um, I, I, I like the offseason. I mean, I don't like that it's been eight years in a row without really tangible playoff success, and we had to watch the Florida Panthers hoisting the cup. But I really, and Chris Tanev's going to be here, right? And that's a real solid pickup for them. So it's small steps at a time. I like what Brad Living is doing. And, hey, I'll be there uh, ex enjoying an exciting regular season, which should, be, which should happen again. And hopefully this is the year a little bit further or maybe even all the way in the Stanley Cup playoffs. But I've, I've liked the tinkering he's done. I'm going to ask you to say two words at the end of today's interview in Macedonian. Pozdrav Makedonsi. Pozdrav Makedonsi. It's a great honor to speak with Sue Eastwood, one of the sponsors of the Macedonian Heritage Hour. Sue, uh, it's great to see you again. It is a pleasure to be here and to meet you and to speak with you. We're very proud to have you as a sponsor. You've been advertising on our show and we, we thank you for that. Um, your involvement in the Macedonian community at large, uh, you've done a lot of volunteer work in our community and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so I manage and uh, run, I started a group called Macedonian Cooking and Culture. It's a Facebook group. We have 56,000 members worldwide in that group. It's very important to keep the Macedonian heritage culture roots alive uh, for people that perhaps uh, you know are fourth third fourth generations uh, outside of Macedonia they don't speak the language they want to know more and explore that that heritage it's a good way for them to get introduced and learn about it your maiden name is Staklevski 
Твојето потекло е од кој село од Македонија, од кој место? Татко ми е Пандош Траклев од село Буково, а, тоа е многу близо до Битола. Мајка ми е од село Долно Србци и тоа е од Битолска еколија. Дали има многу македонци од тие села во Канада или има повеќе во, во самите села или во Австралија се? Има многу буковци а, во Тронто, има уште поеќе во, во, во Рочестер. И, of course, во Салја има од секде лоц. И во Македонија? Абсолютно. <laughs> Macedonian, being Macedonian is very important to you. Why? Uh, it's uh, growing up, um, it, I was very close and I still am to my family, uh, the, my Macedonian uh, roots. Uh, we went to church every Sunday. There were dances growing up, there were picnics, there were events for, for the teenagers. Uh, my parents would go nagosti. Uh, so all these things I was a part of and that's what shaped me to be the person I am today. Family is very important, uh, I believe, in every Macedonian household. Do you have a message today for young Macedonians watching our show today? I do. Um, I know at this point in your young lives, there's a lot of things that uh, are probably more important than your roots and uh, your Macedonian heritage and you're off with your friends and you're discovering who you are and trying to find out who you are. But at some point in your life, uh, you're going to lean on who you are and, and who that is is Macedonian. And you're going you're gonna to seek this out. And I'm glad that there's groups like mine that will enable you to do that. Macedonian pride in Canada. I'm Masoy, yes, bring it on. I'd like to congratulate you and your partner on the 25th anniversary of RMG Consulting. Congratulations, Sue, that's a great achievement. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. And uh, it's tough being in business, uh, and we're really, really happy and excited to be uh, continuing uh, to grow. Снимките од 80-тиот македонски отворен голф турнир во Канада. Нашиот снимател беше Рао Дудник. Tonight we gather to celebrate a storied tradition that spans 8 decades, the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament. This annual event not only preserves our cherished past, but also paves the way for future generations to embrace its spirit. Golfers of all ages, seasoned veterans and eager newcomers alike congregate, sharing stories and gearing up for friendly competition. The energy is a testament to the tournament's enduring significance within the Macedonian community of Toronto. More than just a sporting event, the Macedonian Open serves as a cornerstone of community unity. It's a time when bonds are strengthened, traditions are upheld, and new memories are forged. Tonight, we celebrate not only the tournament's rich history, but also the vibrant future it promises to inspire. In 1942, at the height of World War II, a group of Macedonian businessmen who golfed weekly decided to hold a tournament to raise funds for the Red Cross. They affectionately named it the Macedonian Open. In 1953, the group welcomed Van Petrov. The following year, as president of the group, Van formalized the Macedonian Open, setting a precedent for excellence that would define the tournament for decades to come. Although fundraising was not the purpose during these times, the annual events served a purpose in bringing Macedonians and their friends together, and the potential to become something more. As a fellow director on Canadian Macedonian Place Board, Stan Thomas stepped in to assist Van with the tournament, proposing the idea of transforming the Macedonian Open into a fundraiser for the benefit of Canadian Macedonian Place. Van wholeheartedly agreed. His decision was rooted in a profound commitment to his community. With Van's support, Stan took on the role of tournament chairman in 1990. Under his leadership, the tournament has become a beacon of community support the largest annual fundraising event for Canadian Macedonian Place. Stan brought together a strong committee of volunteers who led the tournament to unprecedented heights, shifting from a lengthy tea time event to a shotgun start, drawing widespread participation and generosity. What began as a small tournament to aid World War II relief efforts evolved into a powerful fundraising event in support of a cherished cause. 
Today, the tournament stands as a testament to Macedonian traditions. With prestigious awards, expanding sponsorships, and exciting raffles and prizes, and the delicious Macedonian zelnik and beans made by our community volunteers, it is endless fun and the highlight of our summer. Today, the tournament is a sellout sensation every year, drawing 288 golfers eager to participate. But most importantly, over the years, we've proudly raised close to $3 million in support of Canadian Macedonian Place. Proceeds from the tournament have empowered Canadian Macedonian Place to undergo extensive renovations and repairs, creating a modern and affordable haven for our seniors. These upgrades and maintenance ensure comfort, enjoyment, security, and peace of mind for both residents and their families. Proceeds also support numerous events at the home, providing our seniors with social and physical activities to stay healthy and connected. This has all been made possible thanks to the unwavering support of our generous sponsors, the dedicated staff at Canadian Macedonian Place, our incredible volunteers, and the enthusiastic golfers, both longtime participants and newcomers. A heartfelt thank you for 80 unforgettable years of the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament. Your passion, dedication, and support have made every year extraordinary. Here's to many more amazing moments together. Emma Woods, watch Macedonian television.